Today is Saturday, July 6, 2019, and I'm leaving my home in southeastern Wisconsin and traveling about 155 miles west through the flat farmlands of southeastern Wisconsin to the hilly terrain of western Wisconsin. My destination? The Wiggy Winery, an 80-acre winery that includes a vineyard along with apple, peach, pear, and blackcurrant orchards, all of which are used to make its wines. This will be my first Harvest Host experience as well. After a short stint on the four-lane Highway 12 out of Lake Geneva, I'm taking the two-lane State Highway 1218 to Madison, Wisconsin, the state capital, and then west on Highway 18 to the city of Dodgeville, then north to the winery. My course takes me through a number of small, family-oriented, cozy towns. Each is both similar but unique, self-contained, supported by small industry and farming, although a number close enough to Madison for some folks to commute to either academia or government jobs. Once west of Madison, travel on Highway 18, one of the few four-lane state roads. Once I hit Dodgeville and exit Highway 18, it's rural two-lane highways through the hills and valleys of the Driftless area, with peaks dotted with forest land along with dairy, corn, and soybean farms, with some sheep, goats, and other agrarian products thrown in. The Wisconsin River cuts east to west through the area before crashing into the Mississippi River and the state's western border. The word driftless refers to the fact that upon retreat, glaciers normally leave behind mountains of boulders, dirt, and related rubble known as drift behind them. However, due to a quirk of topography, the last glaciers around 125,000 years ago actually went around the entire western edge of Wisconsin, making it the driftless area upon retreat. This terrain is definitely more varied than the central and eastern edge, but missing the kettles, moraines, and thousands of lakes that dot the rest of the state and for which Wisconsin is famous. There are very few lakes in western Wisconsin, and those that exist are often the result of either man-made or beaver-made dams. All right, I've arrived. I'm not sure which way to go, so I called, and they are gonna send someone out to get me. I did not want to take a left down that steep hill and have uh, trouble getting out. But boy, it sure is uh, amazingly pretty out here. Hey everybody, hope you can hear me. I don't have a uh, fancy microphone. I'm here at the Weggery Winery in Muskoda, Wisconsin. Say that uh, whole thing fast three times. Anyway, I am literally camping in a winery. It's part of the Harvest Host. Uh, alternatives. I'm a member of that and this is my first harvest host experience and I have to say um, it's interesting in a couple of ways. First of all I wasn't uh, sure what kind of winery I would find out in uh, western Wisconsin. I haven't been here actually in a long time even though I live in Wisconsin and western Wisconsin is actually quite beautiful with a lot of hills and uh, rivers and, and things of that nature and the brewery or rather the winery is situated in there. It's not exactly what I expected um, in terms of the building itself. It's a very small building. It's an old dairy farm that they converted and literally I think the uh, the tasting room is in an old milking shed that they converted into a, a tasting room. It's kind of nice. I'll throw some video up on that. But it is interesting and quite frankly the wines were uh, much better than, than I thought. Some of them have won a number of awards and I did uh, pick up a couple of bottles which is kind of obligatory. Uh, because I am staying for free. So folks, there's the winery building on the left. It is, I believe, an old dairy milking shed. Um, so not quite the uh, hoity-toity type of thing you see on the west coast in California or even uh, Sedona little winery humor on that side. It says, uh, wine lovers only, all others will be crushed. And even though the outside looked a little bit questionable, um, there were a lot of really nice wines, I thought. On the inside, they make them from the pears and the peaches, the currants and the apples, as well as just regular uh, red dry and sweet wines, white dry and sweet wines. I try, tend to gravitate towards the sweet wines myself. That was Carla, she was the hostess. Um, you can get uh, an eight glass sample for six bucks and the wines run from, oh, 12 to $20 a bottle. I think the two bottles that I got um, were around $12 each, something like that. But had a lot of fun there, learned a little bit about the brewery and uh, it's really a great place and I highly recommend it.
morning everyone it is uh sunday july 8th it's about i don't know 5 30 in the morning sun's coming up just thought i would uh, show you the morning at a winery in southwestern wisconsin here we come to the sunrise check this out i don't know if you, the camera will pick it up as well as uh, i can see it but it's uh quite beautiful here and peaceful other than the, the sound of the birds chirping the only other sound quite honestly is the sound of the gnats hitting my hoodie <laughs> they're like everywhere thank god they're not mosquitoes uh, i'm gonna grab my cup of coffee and uh, relax for a bit hey guys a little later in the morning i'm gonna take a hike around the wiggy winery and uh check it out come along with me <laughs> 